Welcome. Hello. It's Richard and... Paul. And this is... Sunday Chat! Did you have to do that snake-like hiss at the beginning, Paul? Yeah, I did. That wasn't yeah. very pleasant now, was it? No, it wasn't. It was like oh. gas escaping. Yes. That's not very nice. <laughs> is it? No, it's not. It's a nice sound. Um, not a very welcoming thing for all our viewers and indeed all our new subscribers here on the YouTube. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Bloody thank you for joining us. Your eyelashes look very separated today. Separated? What are you talking about, Paul? What do you mean? They look very individual. Well, that's how they always look. I wake up like this. Anyway, it's Sunday, the weather's still changeable, although it's calming down a little bit now, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a bit warmer. Well, I mean, not a lot warmer, but it's got a little bit warmer. Yeah. Well, I think so. I mean, it was cold earlier in the week. Well, at the back end of last week, it was cold. I thought it was quite cold yesterday, actually. Did you? Mm, I did. I was cold. I wasn't cold. Weren't you? No. No, well, you're a little bit more insulated than I am. Naturally. Yeah. So, Sunday. Bloody Sunday. That's a song. Who by? It's you too, isn't it? We've oh, said that before. Too. We've oh. said that before. Um, I was yeah. never into you too. No, neither was I. I didn't like Bonio. Not Bo no. Bono. Bono. Bonio's a dog food, isn't it? I met him once. Did you? How lovely. Mm. Right, was he wearing his sunglasses? No. No? Oh. How nice. Anyway, it's changeable weather. It's been... The barometer's been low. Hasn't it? Low barometer. High barometer, low barometer. It's been low. We've been tapping it. And it's just been so very of staying, low. Stormy. It's staying very stormy, very stormy, because it's got all the sort of um, gradations around the. I the think sides. people know what a barometer is. And then is right at the bottom, it says very stormy, and it's been very stormy. Yes. Though it hasn't actually been very well, it stormy. Has. It's been windy and breezy well, it's and been grey clouds. It and... hasn't been. Has it? No, Paul, it hasn't. But it is rather that here now. I mean, when we were in Guernsey, that wind, that was stormy wind. It was. It was whistling through the house. Literally. That's Kate Bush. Um, yeah, so it it's is. Wet. It's changeable. It's wet. We're, we're We've having got... showers and dry and it's improving. It's improving, Paul. It's improving on the run up to... Christmas. Christmas. Lovely Christmas. And um, today... It was sunny before. Today... And then it got grey. Move on, Paul. They're getting bored now. And then wet. Yeah, the yonorama. Um, it's the solstice today. Happy, happy solstice, which is the root of all of the celebrations around this time of year. Yeah, the root of all of them. It is. Yeah. Mm. It is. The sun has reached its lowest point in the sky. Yes. And it's going to rise, start rising again, getting higher from around the 25th. Funny that. Mm. 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 Ah. Mm. Think about it. Mm. Think about it. Mm. Nature has inspired all of the stories and the solstice is one of the strongest indicators of the movement of the heavens and the earth. Anyway, so happy solstice. It was at 4.19 this morning yeah. in the northern hemisphere. And we got up for it and we were waiting to see what happened, but... No, we were asleep. Yeah. So we've got a lot to talk about. Will they have been at... Um, no. Will they have been at Stonehenge? Or will they be... 
there because there is a thing isn't it that yes. Stonehenge is actually the sunset of the winter solstice not the sunrise of the summer solstice isn't there I don't know I think there is Go I'm, and sure, Google it. I'm sure there is Google <coughs> Google, Google, We're not Google. the internet, Paul. <laughs> well, no, I don't, but I don't <laughs> know if, if um, some druids may have been let well, they do onto go. the site. They do go. Well, there of we are. Of course they do. There we are. So God. if you have been there Look on the today, internet. we hope you had a lovely Time. winter solstice at 4.19. Yeah. And okay. if you're going this evening for sunset, enjoy. Lovely. So, we put up our single Christmas decoration. It's over there. Let's have a quick shot of it. There we are. Lovely. And um, we stopped doing decorations a long time ago, didn't we? Yeah, proper, we, we, we proper used decorations. to have the house was full of festive decoration paraphernalia yeah that's what i prefer to call it yeah um we used to have two trees one in here one in the middle three we had three one year what that little one we had a little one oh, yeah. and then we had a medium one and then a we had one. a big one it's a bit like the three bears it was nothing like the three bears paul oh. wasn't don't be ridiculous Anyway, as I was saying about to tell my story, thank you, Paul, for giving me the attention. I've forgotten what I'm bloody saying now. Ruined it again, like you ruin everything. Under the stairs. So anyway, in order to get that one Christmas decoration out, I had to ransack the understairs cupboard. And I, the thing is, can we stop with the mine? <laughs> <laughs> because that otherwise, no. Otherwise, I won't tell the story. <laughs> what would you prefer, Paul sitting here miming, or me telling my lovely story? What would you prefer? I think I know. Tell what us in this poll. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, then. You've put me off now. Under the stairs. Anyway, I was under the stairs getting the single decoration out, and I do this every bloody year. Don't I? Yeah. Every year without fail. Yeah. I say, right, I'm going to get a Christmas decoration out. And I end up spending half the day clearing out the understairs cupboard to simply box everything up and put it back. And I was trying to work out why this happens. Why do I do it? I mean, it's, you know, in the scheme of things, I mean... <laughs> first world problems and all of that but you know every year I do it and I don't know why and is it to look at the the box of Christmas decorations because I like looking at sparkly things like me is it because I'm being nostalgic is it because I do still have a deep secret yearning to cover the house in glitter and tinsel what do you think it is or is it that I just fantasise about getting rid of all of that stuff? For what, you know, once and for all. But I, I don't want to do that because it's plastic and unrecyclable materials. And who knows, we might decide to have a tree in the future. I think we will. I think we will. I yeah. mean, they're lovely things. Silvers, lilacs, sparkly things, gorgeous purple tinsel, gold... Angels, stars, snowflakes, shooting stars and comets. Isn't it? They're lovely things. Baubles. I've got about 50 baubles. Different sizes, shapes. Some, You've got some quite large baubles. Some with sequins on them. Mm. <laughs> and the tree itself. Well, I've got a tree. No, I know, but in the future we would get a tree. Well, it would always be a real tree, hopefully with living roots. Well, I tried to rescue a tree last year, but that didn't happen. So why do I do it, Paul? What do I you think, think it's all of the above. Do you? All I of think those all things. All of those things. Combined together. 
and you open the, the understairs cupboard and you think, all oh, right, while I'm here, I might as well just do this. I might as well tidy up and get rid of the old things. And yesterday, whilst I was doing some work at your, my desk, you did that. I did. And I came downstairs and everything was all over the middle room. It looked like a bomb site, didn't it? It did. Mm. It did. But... And me in the middle crying. We got really. through quite a bit of stuff yeah, and through oh. into the back of the car yeah. a box of things to go to the charity shop. And a new mug. We got a new mug. Yeah, it was in the in a bag. From Mum. Was that from Mum? Mm. It was in the bag of stuff from Mum. Oh yeah, it was. Yeah. Um and nice. other yeah. things which have actually are going to go to the dump. Some are electrical, so they'll go to the electrical part of the dump. They're old lights. Yeah, old they're lights. old lights and they're old Christmas lights and they're plug-in ones. Yeah, so you can't I mean, give them to a charity shop because they won't be able to use them Nobody wants them anyway. now, do they, those kind of lights? No. They've all got LED battery-operated ones now. <clears throat> Who wants fire hazard causing old Christmas lights? Nobody. They had marshmallows in them. Oh, did they? We um, didn't get the marshmallows, but we got the mug. Mum got the mug at the Red Cross, but I had seen it previously in Starbucks, and they had marshmallows and lots oh, of things well, in it. it's lovely. Mm. Lovely. So there you go, that was the story of the one Christmas decoration. I'm going to cough. He's still got this <coughs> He's still got this cold. It's still hanging around. I've got a touch of one. Yeah. Haven't I? Yeah. Just a touch. Yeah, you were whinging last night. Well, I thought yeah. it was coming on. I got a cold and you've given it to me. I never sound like that, Paul. I think you do. No. So, yeah, I think it's all of the above. Yeah. And I think we will use them. I mean, some of them... Well, actually, all of the ones that we've got... We like. Well, they're tasteful. <clears throat> so, Taste. so we have kept them, and we found out that all of the there's lots of sort of those um, polystyrene, um, what beads. do you call it? Beads, beads, the packing, peanuts, packing beads. But we realised yesterday that they're actually made of, or the other the Friday starch. that they're actually made of starch. So that's great. So you've packed everything back in yeah. with those. But I haven't. No, I haven't. I didn't use them. Oh, well, I actually reduced. <laughs> The area, the boxing area, square meterage, oh, I reduced it by putting everything into one box. So what happened with the... I've put them into another box and put them back. I've saved Richard, them. Richard loves being able to put things... In boxes. In a box and then put the box... In a cupboard. Somewhere. I do. Preferably so we with have... We have lots of boxes around the house. Some are lovely wooden boxes. We have lots of lovely boxes and things. Some are just cardboard boxes in the attic or under the stairs or wherever. But you love being able to hide things in a box and then put them away. Well, preferably shut a door on them or a curtain. Curtains. More curtains everywhere, hiding things, hiding mess. Well, unlike you, Paul, who just shoves things on every available surface that there is, <laughs> literally, just like your mum. <laughs> really? I am my mother's son. You know, every single... I like clear surfaces. Clear. Clear the clutter. Clear the clutter put it in a box, and then put that box somewhere. You'd be a hoarder if you didn't... Oh, I me. would not be a hoarder. You would. You'd be, I would a little, not be, you'd be a living hoarder. in a little cardboard nest in the middle of a room with little runways to get to you, like rats. That sounds quite exciting. <laughs> that does sound quite exciting. Yeah. I've prevented you doing this over 27 <laughs> years, Paul. Frankly, Paul, I've saved you from yourself. I have. Oh, I'm so grateful. Anyway, chickpea loaf. Chickpea loaf. 
I was going to call it chicken pea loaf, but it's actually a chickpea loaf. Why chicken pea well, loaf? Well, because it's, it's a bit like a seitan. It's a bit like a, a meat seitan, but it's gluten free. So um, the other day, a couple of weeks ago, we made the nut roast, which people have tried around the world, which is great. Thank you very much. And I wanted to do a loaf which was pale in colour. Um, didn't have a, a lot of colour, but had a lot of flavour. And um, I made a chickpea loaf, which again slices well. Does. And um, again, you can have it cold if you want as well. It's tasty. Tasty. Mm. So we're going to be doing that video um, in the next week. So that will be up sort of uh, maybe sort of the weekend. Well, actually, it's going to be up in the next week or 10 days. So you'll be able to see that. But you can see we had it as a roast last night. Yes. Or two nights ago um, on Planet Vegetaria. Yeah, it was Friday night. Friday night, yes. Yeah. Um, and we've still got some leftovers of that as well, so we, we'll be using that. So, yeah, it's... And the uh, good thing about those loaves, like the nut roast and the chickpea roast, the leftovers, if you've got a couple of slices and maybe it's not enough to go round, mm. you can chunk it up, break it up with a fork, add it to a tomato sauce, and you've got an instant vegetarian bolognese. Yeah, uh, yeah. Or... Well, or as an ingredient for a cottage pie, or mm. something like that. The um, or as a pate on a cracker. Could do it as a pate, absolutely. Uh, uh, so versatile, uh, Paul. Mm. You're so clever, Paul. I'm Thank so you. proud of you doing your little recipes for everybody. Lovely. So, so that video is coming up. Yeah, it's coming not up. it's not made with vital wheat gluten, so it's it's not a true seitan, but it is made with gram flour. Um, so it doesn't hold it, it holds together really well. <clears throat> but we're going to be doing another. We're going to be making some sausages in the new year, and that brings us up to Christmas. Mm. We're not doing a Christmas special this year. No, no, you can watch last year's. Yeah. Watch last year's. It's just as good. I mean, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. It doesn't matter, does it's it? It's really? Christmas! Oh, Jesus Christ, Mary, Mother of God. Almost. Um, so we're not doing a Christmas special because we haven't had time. We've had other things going on. Blah, blah, blah. You know what it's like. You know what life is like. You can't always do everything you want to do. No. You can't be who you want to be. Mm. Not always. No, not always. I mean, people do need to work in factories. Well, people need to work. We need to work. Yeah. The country's got to run. Mm. So one can't always do what one wants to do. Yeah. So we didn't. And we haven't. And we won't be. But. 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 We will be here for a magical Christmas Day live show. Uh, live. Richard and Paul. Christmas Day. Midday. 12 o'clock. Midday! O That's 12 o'clock. For those of you who don't know where midday is. 12 o'clock. Midday Christmas Greenwich Day. Meantime. That's the 25th of December. Mm. When Jesus was born, apparently. So join us. Bloody join us, join us, for that, if you can, just an hour of festive chat. Well, it won't be festive. But it won't be festive, no. We'll probably be running around the house showing you what food we're eating. No. And I'll probably be gorging Chatting. on the chocolates. Oh, you'll be, yeah, yeah. And I think we may have a glass or two of champagne. We may do. Live, on air, mm. which is mm. very rare. Mm. So please remember, mm. put put the date into your diary. Yes. yes. They need to put the time in though. Twelve o'clock. They've most of you already got the date. I'll send you a reminder and if you follow us on Facebook and Facebook group, Planet Vegetaria, that's Richard and Paul, a Facebook group. Since <laughs> You got it wrong. The producer's going to be shouting at you now. That's Richard and Paul. 
since 2017. It's contractual. That's it. He'll be happy now. Yeah. yeah. I think he'll still shout at you. Anyhow, let's get on with the show. Anywho. That's for Greta. Next. Worms. You oh. want to talk about those bloody worms. Cedrics and Cedricitas are doing really well. Are they? Yeah, they are. Do you, we could bring them in on I for the Christmas so. special. I don't think so. We could bring them in, put them on the little wheelie thing and bring them in here and they could join us on the sofa. I've got one word to say to you, Paul. What? No. Oh. Anyway, they're doing really well and there are loads of them. What happens when they die? Do they eat each other? What happens when one of them dies? I don't know, you'll have to Google. I assume so, yes. Do they just eat the body or do they, <laughs> I don't know, hold a cremation? I don't think there'll be a cremation because there's no heat. I see a little smoke wisping. No, 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 you're being silly now, you're being silly. They are doing really well, but, but... And that's a big but. What we do need to do is get them another blanket because they've eaten the other one. We have a hessian sack and we put that hessian sack over the top of the worms to keep them dark and to keep them happy. Can't you put a piece of cardboard next time? That'll be just as good, won't it? And they have eaten well, it. Naturally. Or started eating through it. So I think I've got another hessian sack so unless Richard is going to knit something for them, as he promised to do last year, I will be using another Hessian sack because they seem to like it. I've got they seem to like it because it keeps them warm yeah. and it also keeps their tummies full. I've got two words to say to you, Paul, this time. What? Thank you. I've not, I've not done any knitting at all, have I, this winter? No, you and last last winter I was knitting like a bitch. You were. Wasn't I? You were. But I haven't done because I wanted to learn to crochet. Yes, and how is that going? It's not going anywhere at the moment because I haven't had time to find... Well, no, I did. I did have a look on Amazon and I put on crochet needle. Oh. Beginner's kit. Oh. Starters kit. Billions. Well, it, it did, but it also gave me these ones where you've got like 20 crochet needles yeah. in a set. Yeah. Do I need 20 crochet needle, needles? What, what if I don't like doing crochet? Mm. And I spent £20 on a crochet needle set. I I'm sure somebody must have crochet needles. We'll have to ask our friends if any have got but crochet needles. I think you've needles. got to test out how you feel about the crochet needle, whether it suits you, whether you've got a vibe. Are you rubbing my leg with your foot? Yes. Is it nice? Hmm. Mm. Anyway. Anywho. So the worms are fine. They're they all having are. a party they and are. enjoying eating I say, all the every time I do leftover them, food. It does remind me of June. Because they do, they sort of, when they, when the light hits them, they sort of do go, like that. Poor thing. Which is why they like their blanket. Thinking about that, I noticed when you did take everything out of the cupboard the other day, looked through it all, packed it up differently and put everything back. Not everything. That there was some raffia or something there, wasn't there? There was that ropey thing. That you... You bought that for me to do macrame. Oh, yeah, it's that. Oh, yeah, I thought it was thinner than that. I thought I maybe you that. could knit a blanket. I thought it was hessian and we could knit a blanket. Well, you probably could. But you it's quite thick, could. isn't You'd it? have to use... Yeah, it yeah, would be very holy. Enough. No, we don't want anything holy. No. 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 Definitely not. No. So... I'm going to have a drink now. What's your... Well, let's both have a sip of our drinks. A little celebratory Christmas coffee and tea. Cough tea. He's got a coffee. I've got a tea. I'm drinking black coffee. Strong and black. Mm. 
Well, it's tasty. It's yours Mine tasty. is that red one. What's that red one? That what? That red one. Red one? Red one. Not Bourganvillea. The Some ones that they of... had in Bali. Oh, um, um, oh, the Bell. flower. Yeah. Hibiscus. 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 Oh, we're exotic here. It's see. red hibiscus. I do like it. You're not keen on it, are you? You're not really a fan of fruit teas and things. I kind of like the that really nice one that we got years ago, orange zinger. Oh, yes. Celestial now, seasonings. Celestial seasonings. That was great. We've talked about them before. Let's not Have go we? Over no, we didn't talk about them again. Oh, because God. they they were absolutely lovely. They are. You can still buy them. They're still available. Yeah, but they're mainly available in the US, aren't they? Are Rather they? than I'm the UK. Sure. They're I'm very... sure there are shops here that stock them, Paul. You haven't looked. I have looked. Well, look again. I have looked. Look again and make I a note of speak, it this time. I might speak to one of our friends in New York. Hi, Ruth. So that when She's she comes watching. over, she could bring some with her. She's not watching. Most of our friends don't watch us, do they? No, they don't. No, they don't, no. actually. No. It's quite interesting. I suppose yeah. when they do meet us, they get us anyway, so they don't really need to... Uh, to watch, do they? It's interesting, isn't it? No. Or they're not interested at but all. I don't think they're interested. No, I don't think they're interested. I don't think we're interested. We're very, very happy to have made so many new friends yes, here yes. on YouTube. Through the camera. Through the power of the internet. <sighs> yes, the cloud. Through the power of the cloud. Paul, you're blocking my light. <laughs> so, what's your word of the week, Paul? Oh, my word of the week is actually um, a word from Vivi. Oh, lovely. Which I'm not going to get right now. No. Contemporaneously. Now, Vivi used that word in a video a couple of, maybe a week ago. And I just love it. I think it's a wonderful word. And I sort of knew what it meant. But at the same time, I had to look it up and check what it meant. And I did. And it means the same things happening in a period of time, which is different to simultaneously. Well, it's a different feeling about that word, isn't it? It's well, different. Um, simultaneously It means is now, happening now at the same time. At an time. instant. That moment. Yes, where contain contemporaneously means over a period of time so it's sort of historical um but yeah it's i yeah i love that word and as soon as vivi said it i thought yeah i do love that word mm -hmm. and i do love that word in fact that's a word that i love even though i can't say it very well oh good what's your word of the week richard my word of the week is crystal crystal because I just love the word crystal there's something about it that totally sums up crystal crisp sharp do you understand what I mean what's the word when it's what's the word to describe another word that sounds like it is. What's that word? Not alliteration. Something in them. Oh, I can't remember. But crystal, if I look at a crystal, crystal. And I was reminded of this word when I was looking through the decorations, crystal drop, or carved, crystal carved lead crystal, crystal. Oh! What? Mm. We got a crystal glass from Mum as well, didn't we? We did. Crystal. Think about it. It's a beautiful word. Oh, lovely. Right, Paul, what's next? I don't know. Crystal stained worms. I need to get down the plot at some point and do something, but again, as we said earlier, it's just so Depends wet on the ground. On the weather, doesn't it? It does. Because you still haven't bought any bloody waterproofs. But it's not 
it's not the waterproof side of things. I mean, if I get wet, I get wet. That's not clever. So if I get wet, I get wet. I don't mind that. It's actually the trudging of the, the, the soil and the breaking down of the soil that I don't want to do. Trudging, that's a nice word. Trudging. Trudging, trudging. trudge, trudge, trudge. Trudging along, trudging. Carry on. It's that that I don't want to do. Um, I don't want to impact the soil and I do need no. to dig some things out. So I do need to dig them out whilst the soil is wet and manageable rather than cold and frozen. Even though we don't really get much heavily frozen soil here, the first, the sort of top four inches does actually freeze quite often. So yeah, I, I need to get down. It's not about waterproofs, though I do need to get some waterproofs. Mm. And I think I said this, no I didn't. All of the boar beans are now up. So last week some oh, of them gosh. were poking through. Now they're just beautiful pale green oh. shards. 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 Crystal shard. Crystal shard. That's quite a good drag name. Crystal actually. shard. Well, it's not got any double meanings to it, has it really? It's just a nice, nice couple of words. So I don't you think it'd be good if they invented something for allotments that was like a sort of awning that went right over the allotments during rainy weather? Uh, that would be good, wouldn't it? Well, if we had a big umbrella, I could actually move it around the place. No, I mean for stopping the earth from being compacted. Or is that simply a polytunnel? <laughs> well, I think that's a polytunnel. It's also putting cardboard down over winter. No, but so you could work there no, as I know, well. I know what you're saying. Lovely. Yes, I, I think, think the, that's a polytunnel. I think the house. future is polytunnels when we get our own land, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Yes, definitely. definitely. I'd love to have a greenhouse. I'd love to have an old fashioned. Now, that's an interesting thing. I didn't know that greenhouses are actually a relatively modern um, invention. Oh. It's only about a century old. Before then, they did have... They didn't have glass? Well, they had glass, but they attached them to the side of a house. Yes, So they effectively, did, it was they? a lean-to. A lean-to. Is that to get the heat of the house? Well, you've got the heat of the house as well. And, of course, there are those greenhouses now, or, li or yeah, greenhouses and lean-tos, that they dig down about oh, three yes. feet, four feet to, at the side of the house... And then you have the that heat gets trapped in the winter from the glass, and that that looks really interesting. People are clever, but aren't I did I didn't know that greenhouses were a relatively new invention. You said that. It's obvious yes. if you think about it, because that spanning of such a vast area. I'm not talking about smaller greenhouses, bigger greenhouses. That spanning will really have needed an awful lot of sort of um, structural engineering when they started making them of wood. Yes, that's true. Because all the greenhouses in Guernsey, when I grew up, were all made of wood and were vast, absolutely vast. It's a shame that a lot of them in Guernsey are completely dilapidated and they've just been left. Yeah. I do find Guernsey, person who rule Guernsey... <laughs> We Why don't you sort it out? Well, sort it's, very, it out. it's very often because the, it's not care. economical don't care. to do it. And also, there is that thing for decades don't where care. people have always thought, well, if I let my greenhouses go, then at some point I'll be able to get planning permission to build don't houses care, on care, them. I don't care. There should be a law. There should be a law that the greenhouses in Guernsey that are dilapidated have to be removed recycled or replaced within 10 years of dilapidation. Yeah, but then you'll have an awful lot more houses, which of course is what Guernsey needs, but you will be losing the heritage of Guernsey at the same what, time. in a dilapidated no, greenhouse? No, well, I think they need to be, they need to see that as be part rebuilt. of the heritage of Guernsey. And be rebuilt. And be rebuilt. Well, I think that would be lovely. I mean, it's interesting. Do I it now, thinking, Mr Guernsey. Guernsey. I've been person who rules. I've been tweeting what are they called? the states of Guernsey. No, what's the per a head person called? The head honcho. 
in a poncho. Well, there's the bailiff and then there's the governor. The governor's the, the queen's representative. The bailiff. The bailiff's the island's representative. Dear Guernsey bailiff. <laughs> but so it's, all, it's, all, it's all deputies in the states of Guernsey. Okay. It's different to over here. Well, I want to speak directly to the head person. Well, there isn't now. one. That's what I'm saying, really. Okay. Dear Queen. Yes. Sort out guns. Duke of Normandy. Dear Duke of Nor Duke of Normandy. Yeah. And she's a woman. She's the Duke of Normandy. Her title goes with the crown. Is Why the Duke isn't of she the Duchess of Normandy? Because the Duke of Normandy is the title, not the Duchess. She is the Duke of Normandy. It's very progressive. <laughs> it's progressive from twelve oh four. You see, I think. even in twelve oh four, they had. Fluid gender. Mm. Probably more than now, actually. But what I have noticed is um, Visit Guernsey, which is obviously the tourism yes. side of Guernsey. We've been tweeting some of Richard's fantastic photos oh, cool. um, Thank you. of Guernsey and the stormy skies. And um, yeah, Visit Guernsey hasn't retweeted any of them, which is interesting. They re. Because it, then one of them it then. made me think that maybe Guernsey just wants to see itself as the Sunshine Island, which is a shame because there's so many things to do in the winter in Guernsey. There are. There, and the, the views change so significantly maybe, in the winter. Maybe Visit Guernsey have shut down for the winter. No, no. They'll be having their eggnog most probably. Maybe yeah. they're preparing for the summer. Well, they will be. They'll be. All the adverts will already have been booked in October. So what you're saying is it's a missed opportunity. I think it's a missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. Because Guernsey and all the Channel Islands are fabulous all year round for very different reasons. And the fabulous stormy skies that Richard got... That you've said again we, now. When we... Are you going to interrupt me all the time? Well, you're repeating yourself an awful lot at the moment, Paul. I'm slightly... Shall concerned. I just carry on repeating myself until you shut up? Okay. Yeah. Stormy skies and wonderful views are good whatever time of year. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So it's not just about the warmest and the sunniest and all of that. It's it's about everything else that goes with Guernsey that you makes it bloody special. Bloody tell them, Paul. Bloody tell them. I think I have, and I'm not going to say any more because that might be repeating myself, which of course I never do. Oh, good. So it's time for some thank yous. Oh, right, yes. We do them now. Let's well, yes, you've now. just said it's time for some thank yous, so we're not going to do them later are we we're going oh, to do them now well, what was that i don't know i think it was a pterodactyl going down the road so a big thank you to all of you who sent christmas cards thank you very much and little gifts thank you very very much for those I do thank much appreciated a um we got this great little book called fook plastic What's Fook Plastic? Is that a special? Oh. Oh, I see. F asterisk asterisk K. Plastic. Um, and that was from David and... Dave and Courtney. Yeah, Dave and Courtney. Dave and Courtney. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, bloody thank you. And we also got sent some lovely reusable lids. What's that? Controlling your hair. I just opened at that page, it was controlling your hair. There's all sorts of stuff in here. How to control your hair without using plastic. I've not read it yet. No, that's something Christmas for us to read. to read. But it does say, don't panic, on the back. So, thank you. Thank you. And we also got, um, thank you very much for the um, replaceable lids I've that said you gave that. us as well. Did you? I wasn't listening to you. God, you just... I wasn't listening. I think you need to go for some kind of special assessment. I wasn't listening. And um, thank you also to Elizabeth, who has sent this amazing seed to us. That's, look at that. That's a huge seed from a bean called a sword bean. And that really is a big bean. And um, she acquired the pod 
and I think we've got one of five or six beans that are in that pod. But there's a little boy, I don't know if you can see the little boy there, with, with the bean holding it as a sword. And also... With the bean holding it as a... what, you mean the pod? Yeah, with the pod, look. Let me see. Oh my God, it's enormous. Yeah. Blimey. And also, thanks, Elizabeth, for these roselle seeds, because you posted this plant, beautiful plant here, on Planet Vegetaria four or five months ago. And I, I said at the time that I absolutely loved it, and you've, you've saved some seeds and sent that to us. So thank you, thank you very Let much for look. that. Let me see. It looks very exciting. Oh. And, um, and Elizabeth oh, um, sent instructions of growing for both of those which is absolutely superb. So thank you very much. What, what is it? Oh, it's a cranberry. No, it's not a cranberry. It says Florida cranberry. Yeah, it's called Florida cranberry, but that's because it's cranberry coloured oh. rather than a cranberry. So the leaves can be added as a zing to a salad. There oh. we are. There we are. Lovely. So look thank forward you. to that. Bloody thank you. Uh, and uh, yes, so thank you to um, to those who sent us things. We thank also you. want to say a big bloody thank you to the people who have recently contributed yes. through PayPal to our business. To us. To us. Thank you. Um, yeah. Thank you, bloody thank you. It's going to be very useful to us to put towards equipment that we need to continue to successfully make videos because uh, with the equipment we've got i.e computer it's getting harder and harder and harder at the moment yesterday i had such a oh fan. yeah he was it, it kept on it just it stalling. just stop, it just stops just goes i'm going to stop now and stops and i'm i'm doing something in here and i hear hear this don't say what <laughs> i say i normally i normally shout a stream of very hard swear words in a whole line. They just all come out naturally. Stop it with the feet. You were rubbing my leg a minute ago. Yeah, but it wasn't audible. That's not was audible. It? Yeah. It is a bit Sounds like somebody's papering something. I, I didn't papers. have socks on. Yes, well, it's even worse now, Paul. Stop it. So thank you, and also big bloody thank you to all our new subscribers, all our new followers on Signed Clyde and Instagram. If you don't already follow us, follow us on everything. And Twitter. And share us. Mm. Share us with people. We yeah. like being shared. That's it. Oh, Christmas Day food. You wanted to talk about Christmas oh, yeah. Day food, why? We're, well, no, why? We're, we're not having anything particularly special, but I was wondering, um, I think we're going to have the chickpea roast. We're just going to have a sort of little dinner, aren't yeah. we? A normal dinner. Yeah, very much like I posted on Planet Vegetarian we the other day. We eat well anyway. We do. But I was wondering what, because um, there's so many people from different places around the world, what different people are having as part of their festive meal tell us because we know that in new zealand they have uh, fermented fish don't we new zealand um, not new zealand iceland don't iceland. even talk about those two words together <laughs> you don't like fermented stuff do just you? don't say it i like sauerkraut and things like that well, I, I don't know. Look, I don't mind. I actually like pickled red cabbage. Yes, I love that's pickled very red lightly cabbage. fermented, I suppose. I like... It's pickled long fermented. I like... Um, I used to like pickled onions, but they give me heartburn now. Mm. I do like pickled beetroot, mm. especially pickled beetroot and cheese on a sandwich. Oh, Lovely. Yeah, you do like that. Too. I do like that. So it's not all pickles, but anything that's <laughs> fermented, unless it's beer. Have you tried fermented things? I don't know. I actually get this feeling in my jaw. It's like a pre-vomit feeling. Uh, 
So I don't, don't want to talk about on. it. Let's move on. There's a lovely I magpie on the chimney up there. Lovely. Oh, that, that shower's moved away now and it's sunny and blue again. Yeah. And we're looking very bright, I think, probably by now. Are we? Bright, fresh. I don't think I ever look Bright right. and fresh skin due to my sugar scrub. Oh, yes. Sugar and oil scrub leaving the skin glowing and soft. You gave yourself a facial the other day, didn't I you? I did. You haven't given me a facial for years. What was that? It was the it pterodactyl like, again. It sounded like some kind of space vehicle from Star Wars. Space 1999. So, Christmas Day, for, what are we having on Christmas Day? Chickpea loaf with Chickpea what? Loaf with what? With Brussels sprouts, sprouts carrots, carrots, cabbage, cabbage, roast potatoes, potatoes, um, parsnips. Parsnips. We're not doing parsnips in Gruyere this year. A bit no. too rich this year. A bit parsnips. too fatty. In fact, we might do a um, a picking video um, of what we're going to be eating. In okay. fact, we do need because we do need, I'm using that word, we do need to pick Lovely. some parsnips. Lovely. And they were doing well. I'm fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So that's it. I think we've covered all the subjects. We've rambled Lay today. Lay sub J. Haven't we? Rambled from one thing to another. Well, people Which is like what that. rambling is. People enjoy that, Paul. Do they? They do. I could they ramble for us. hours. Yes. Shall I carry on rambling? No, we're going to go now. All right, yeah. We're saying goodbye. And if you are travelling about this Christmas, if you're going out for drinky poos with friends into town or cities, centres. Or just down the road. Or just down the road. Don't drink too much. Drink responsibly. Be aware of your surroundings. Mm. Know how you're going to get home. Ah, uh, mm. really? Don't get so legless you don't know what you're doing because, you know, be safe. That's what yeah, we're saying. Yeah, be safe. Think about your safety, your personal safety. Look after each other and enjoy. Have a good time. Have a good time. I was saying that. Yeah, I was saying it quickly. Enjoy yourselves. Have a good time. <laughs> and um, yes, stay safe. Be safe, be happy, be merry, but be safe. You've said that twice. I know, because I think it needs enforcing or reiterating. It's another good word. So thank you, bloody thank you, for joining us today on Sunday Chat. Sunday Chat! Oh, God, that went right through my teeth. What will Christmas Day be? Christmas Day Live. Christmas Day Live! That's what it is. So we'll see you Christmas Day live. for the live show. And, um, yeah, other little festive videoettes may be popping up. So for exclusive videos, join us on Planet Vegetaria. That's a Facebook group by Richard and Paul. Richard and Paul since 2017. He's happy now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. From our home to yours, we wish you a very happy festive season and a wonderful solstice too. You. Are we going to sing a Christmas carol? No. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye.